Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I want to show you now how I color uh, the hair on my little angel. The colors that I'm going to use are the colors I'm using are E15, E29, E37, and E57. I'm going to do some try to do some blending with it. The first one I'm going to start out with is E29. And as you know, the natural uh, shadowing for uh, the hair is usually right around the hairline is a little darker. And then underneath her, her around her neck, because uh, it's, it's just, it, it's being shadowed out there. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of the darkest color there. And I also like to put a little bit, make sure I get a little bit right up under the ear to show the shadow. Remember, I'm just using the smallest amount of the dark color. I can always go back and add more. Now, <clears throat> also, uh, her, you can tell her hair is curly, so I'm not going to just lay down color. I'm going to put color, I'm going to follow these swirls that are, they're showing in her hair. And you're not going to just lay it down. You're going to wiggle it. And I can add some more wiggles where I think I may need them. But I'm going to mainly wait before adding a lot of extra to come back in. But I'll also throw some in at the tips. I can come back in and add more later. Okay. Next, I'm going to take my e, E37. And I'm going to add some more. Start bringing it out down up underneath the back. Well, up underneath the... Um, around the neckline. I'm going to extend this shadow out okay and also with this one I'm going to do those swirls to fill in some of the places just the very tip of your marker do the little swirls the little wiggly lines you can connect them to the black, I mean the darker color. You can let them go off on their own. Okay. And the 57 is very close to the 37. So I'm just going to add just a little bit more. It's just a touch off, just to give you enough of the uh, shadowing effect or the, uh, the highlights in the hair. Now I'm going to take my E13. Now this is the time that I'm going to do the 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 small circles now to fill in okay i'm taking my e13 i'm going to finish swirling down all the colors filling in all the blank spaces there
Okay, now that I have everything all filled in, as I said, I'm going to take my natural to see where the light is going to hit. It's going to hit over here first. So this is going to stay the lighter and maybe a little bit up in here. So now I take my E29 and I take any plastic. I got a, a CD case and I just put some color down on it because I want it to blend this in a little darker and I want to pick up with my E13, pick up some of the color and kind of smoosh it around so that the swirls aren't standing out as much. They're kind of blended in more. You can still see them. They're still there, but they're, they're not like standing out. Here I am. And just swoosh this color in. all the way to the edges of the hair. Remember where we said we were going to leave the little highlights right around here. So I'm going to go in and where I want to leave my highlights, my um, my son come in. We're going to just not fill in that area. Okay, then make sure you clean your marker off of the other color before you put it away. And you can take a look at it and see if you need to add any more darkness. I don't see that I do. And that's how I do my hair. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.